We continue our positional breakdown here at SeniorBowl.com. We did the North Offensive Lineman yesterday. Today, the South Offensive Lineman. And you got a group of three guys who impressed you this week. Yeah, and interestingly enough, Rob, it was a tackle, a guard, and a center. Well, there you go. So okay. let's start with the tackles. Morgan Moses, 6'6", 325 pounds, had a bit of an uneven, inconsistent career at UVA. Here, he was very good at left tackle, just engulfed people with his size, showed more lateral ability than people thought. So I thought he had a very good week. Then the best guard in the entire game, I thought, was Mississippi State's Gabe Jackson. 339 pounds, he's really an anchor on the interior, can set the bottom of the pocket. I thought he really emerged as the best guard coming out of a Reese's Senior Bowl week. And then a bit of a surprise, not necessarily at the center position, but just overall, third best South offensive lineman in terms of his showing during the week was Brian Stork from Florida State. Uh, he was working through some physical uh, ailments in terms of coming off of the BCS title game, but showed extreme toughness, very good technique, hands were on the inside, enough agility to maneuver and work the pocket from that center spot. I thought he had a very solid week, and I think he emerges from the Reese's Senior Bowl with a player, as a player that has some momentum going into the combine. Let me ask you, because you were a general manager of the Browns for four years and were in the NFL for 20 years, how as a as an NFL executive do you balance that with, with, with Moses? Because you said he was inconsistent in his career, but he had a great week here. So how do you balance that? Like, what do you believe? Well, I think what people have to do is now they go back to the tapes and they look and see, you know, was there some carryover uh, from his regular season to the senior bowl? In other words, was he being coached a little differently? Was he being utilized in a different way? And then the big test for Morgan is going to be how he tests at the combine. Because if he tests well there, based on what he did here in Mobile, then you might have a one plus one equals two. But I think he's somebody that's going to be uh, really analyzed this spring because he's so big, 6'6", 325. He's got ideal dimensions for either the left or the right side. And the fact that he could start off as a left tackle and then ultimately shift over to right tackle, uh, a drafting team has some insurance in terms of him having two spots that he could play. And that's the offensive line. We looked at the north and the south. Uh, our next series, we'll look at the other side of the ball, the defensive lineman. <laughs>